All right, so on the left we have a 2001 NB Miata with about 130 horsepower, fairly track prepped. It's got some fancy suspension, some R compound tires, probably RC1s. Um, a car I've got a lot of experience with uh, and also a lot of experience at this particular track. On the right uh, is a Corvette C7. Uh, I'm driving both cars, they're both mine. I'm a, a pretty lucky, spoiled child. Um, uh, they are my, I bought the cars, my parents do the cars, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm a lucky guy. I happen to have both a Miata and a Corvette, um, and I uh, have video of both, uh, both cars at the same track. So I figured it'd be interesting to sort of do a side-by-side. -side. Um, the Miata, it's not my best lap ever, but the car does a 29.7 or something like that, which is not terrible. Uh, the car is capable of a lot more. Um, it's just the first video I could find. On the right is literally my second lap of the day in the Corvette. Um, I've never really driven this car against a timer before. It's only been to the track once, and I was just goofing off. Uh, playing with some friends uh, and this particular lap is literally first session of the day my second lap out uh, in, in that session the second lap around um, I've never pushed this car to try and get times before so this is totally sort of a new experience um, and I think it'd be interesting to see how does a car with 470 horsepower compare to a car that makes 130 the, the Miata weighs eh, 23 and change the Corvette's 35 36 whatever it is um, so quite a bit more weight in the Corvette obviously make it up with power um, and we'll see how we go. Um, so I'll get rid of these. I'll get rid of the ads, and uh, you can see already the Miata is crossing the start finish at about 72 miles an hour. The vet's crossing at about 85, so big difference there, um, which is uh, nobody surprised. Uh, I'm gonna break in the Corvette before the turn against my second lap. I'm, I'm still getting used to it. This is not. I'm not really pushing the car at this point. I'm still just sort of playing around. What you'll notice, and I'm going to pause it as the Corvette, right about there. Corvette's minimum speed in this corner is about 42. Uh, and you'll see the Miata is also at about 42. And it stays there, right? So same corner speed-ish. Uh, minimum corner speed anyway, uh, through that corner. Um, and you can see the Corvette's probably three car lengths or so in advance. Uh, I think the Miata made up a lot of time in the braking there. All right, and Corvette is at the first cone, the Miata. Can't even really see the cones in the video yet. I'm um, gonna check out the minimum corner speeds. The vet gets down to 48 there. The Miata, 46, 47, pretty similar. Once again, um, uh, as we turn in, the Corvette's from 48 on the right, and let's call that the apex. The Miata, again, a couple car lengths behind. Again, similar speeds-ish. It's, it's hard to, I don't have a speed trace, unfortunately. Um, but I'm not noticing anything dramatic, right? So <laughs> kudos to the Michelin tires in the Corvette, which have 8,000 miles and who knows how many burnouts on them. Um, they're not, after this track day, they were totally toast, right? So they're not um, nowhere near the quality, or at least in theory, the quality of the RC1s, which are on the Miata. So um, yeah, pretty impressive cornering speed there. So let's see how we do. Through this section, Corvettes, I'm babying the throttle. Both, I'm getting used to it. Uh, and also there's a lot of power. The Miata's totally flat. Uh, so you'll see the Vet gets a 70-ish and change here, and I start to modulate. Uh, the Miata, just, I'm, I'm flat all the way up until the point where I break. Minimum speed in the bowl in the Vet, about 50, 46. So the, actually, Vet's going faster through the bowl than the Miata. So uh, totally unexpected. Um, maybe I <laughs> just need better tires than the, the, the Miata. And of course, now we get to Main Street, and to nobody's surprise, we know exactly what happens next. Bet's doing 100 already, the Miata's doing 77. So, bye bye. Off it goes through the kink, breaking straight line. About 83 as we take that left kink. If you look at the Miata now, 85 or so to the left. I'm not lifting there. Breaking a straight line. Again, similar minimum corner speeds there. Uh, as we turn right, I'm sorry, turning into the skid pad, see that the Vet's minimum is 38 or so. Watch the Miata's minimum again, 38 or so. Pretty similar. Uh, and as we get to a straight one more time, no surprise what happens next. Corvette blows it away in a straight line. So way kind of more similar than maybe you would expect, um, given the totally different nature of the different cars. Um, lots of credit to the, the cornering capability of the C7 um, in the stock form. It seems pretty similar to the Miata. Um, I, I, th I think the Miata kills it in the braking zone. Uh, it's not even funny. Uh, but then again, I'm braking really gently in the Corvette. Um, so it's my second lap. Later on in the day, I was braking quite a bit harder, um, but uh, the track did get hot and greasier. So there you go. Comparison side by side. Low horsepower car on the left.
high horsepower car on the right. And uh, I, we, I would expect to see a bigger difference on a track like Big Willow or Button Willow with a lot more high speed stuff. Um, but I thought that was interesting, especially, you know, I did not expect to see minimum corner speed on the C7 anywhere near uh, what the Miata was capable of. So if I put sticky tires, put the same tires on both cars, <laughs> wouldn't even be close. Um, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Um, obviously, I'm open to critique on the driving in either video. Um, certainly, the, the, the Corvette video is many more things to point out uh, that are quite obvious. For example, use the brakes all the way, which I'm not doing pretty much any of the corners. Um, so anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good one.